Hey everyone, Derek here from Wayscript. In this one, let's take a look at how we can run a cron job on some Java code to automatically write important information to a text file daily. Let's jump right in. Starting out, I'm creating a new environment called writing file using Java daily example. So if you want to clone this to your own account, you can go and find it in the marketplace under that name, or the link will be in the description below. Starting out, whenever this loads up our editor, the first thing that we need to do is to pull in a time trigger. We can pull in a time trigger, which is a cron job, essentially, by clicking add trigger, and then typing in time, and then clicking time trigger. We can customize when our time trigger executes our script by clicking the time trigger, and then playing with the settings to the left. If I want to run the script every day, I can leave it as the default of day, but if I wanted something more complex, I could put in my own custom cron syntax, or I could do something that's already pre-built, such as every minute, every 10 minutes, or one of these other options. In this tutorial, let's leave it as an execution automatically every day. Awesome, so we're already set up to automatically execute our script. Now, let's say that we have some important information that we're getting from some data source. It could be Google Sheets, it could be an Excel file, or it might be an SQL database. For this example, we'll just assume that you have some data source that you're connecting, and I'll just mock this data with a create variable. We'll say something like, this is the string I want to write. And what that will do is create a variable that we can use in our variables panel. If you use SQL, you'll get those down here when you import columns. And the same for Google Sheets, CSV files, Excel files, and any other data source that you want to use. It'll all be the same interaction. You'll have a variable down here, and let's say that we want to write this variable to a file using Java. We can use a Java module to do this, and we also have other coding languages available, and you can find those by clicking Show Library, and then under Code, they're all here, then we can go back to edit step. We'll open up the editor. And the way that this works is we place everything in this class main. So to execute, we need this main class. Then we can put our logic inside of it. In this example, I'll be using a few Java dependencies and we can import those just like how we would on our local machine. We can go to the top of our file and then import what we need. Next, we need to put in our logic. I'll go ahead and get rid of this default code and paste in some logic. So all we're doing in this code is doing a brief check to see if that file is already there. And then we add in our sample data that we're pulling in. So my data will be equal to the sample data variable, which we'll need to go and make sure that ours is named appropriately. So sample data, going back to Java, we read that variable in through this line here and create it as a Java string type variable, and then we write that to our information file. That file name will just be right here, sample.txt. Finally, if there's any exceptions, we'll print those to our log. Great, so all we need to complete our script now is to turn on our time trigger. Now, every day at 2.35 p.m., our script will execute. We also have the ability to manually run this by clicking the play button. Once we execute this, we should see those log print statements. We get back, is this working? So that file didn't already exist. And now we can go and view that file inside of the file manager. We see it here called sample.txt. This is the string I want to write. And that just comes from that variable that we created here. If you have any questions or comments about this script, please let us know and we'll be happy to help you out. Until next time.